that's not what you expect to find in a violin case. An old one, but probably still fully functional. Hey, what are you doing there? I was taking your case for safekeeping, since it was left here unattended. When I picked it up, the cover unlatched. I never leave my violin unattended. Ah, then no one else could have put this purse in your case. Uh-oh. Um, someone must have snuck it in, like you. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. For sure. And you have a pistol in the case because... I don't owe you an explanation. It's mine. I have a gun license. Now, take the damned purse to the Baroness and leave me in peace. So you even know whose purse it is? Just get lost. It wow. It won't be that easy. I'll report the incident to the Italian authorities in Venice. Mm-hmm. Let's look at this purse. Should I take a look yes. inside? Yes. Yes. It would be a breach of trust. I don't care. On the other hand, there might be important... Right? Do it. Yes, yeah, search the purse. What are you talking about? Why are you even playing? Oh, we got examine the letters. Look at this picture. Look at this and picture. Here? A picture? Yes. Hmm. A family in a garden. Let me see it. The light clothing of the people in the picture and the strong shadows. I'd say the picture was taken on a sunny day. I have his letters. letters. Hmm. Private. What's that say? Oh. Read. It's old-fashioned German. I learned it in school, but I'm a bit out of practice. I've been writing with a Latin-style script for ten years now, like everyone else. Hmm. Seems like it says, For my dear little sister, Meta, summer in Missouri, 1926. The Baroness must have been a young woman in 1926. She probably spent the summer holidays with her family there. Pleasant memories carried in a picture. But it's none of my business. I should give the Baroness a property back. Oh, come on. Alright, let's go talk to her. Found your purse. Oh, Inspector, did you find the Baroness's purse? Yep. I did indeed. You did? Out of my way, James. You like the Queen of Hearts, all dressed up. Tremendous work, Inspector. Off with her head, Baroness. Constable Anton Jakob Zellner at your service. May I ask you where this beautiful train is taking you? <laughs> nope. To the madhouse, I'm afraid. Cheers, Venice. Close to the brink of insanity with this constant shaking and oh. battling. Have you ever tried flying, Baroness? <laughs> So, no. How little luggage one is permitted upon an aeroplane. It defies all reason and good taste. By your own plane. That's a thing. What's wrong about the burglary? You heard about the burglary at the British Museum. Did you see a ghost go past your window? I'm directly affected by it. How so? How so? I'm in charge of the Friends of the British Museum. And for your information, I'm financing the exhibition. Exhibition? What exhibition? The exhibition in Cairo. <laughs> Where did you think we were going? The eyes of the uh, Sphinx were supposed to be... Don't know you're going, you wouldn't tell me. Except the madhouse. I too read the paper. The exhibition will be rather less sensational than we'd hoped. On the other hand, there's a chance that all the uproar will generate more attention. And that the exhibition will still be a great success. <laughs> Perhaps. But we wanted to show them both together. That was the whole point. Yeah, nobody cares about the point, though. As long as you get people to come in the door. About your fellow Pay for your tickets. No, not really. I could hardly care who's penned up in here with me. Fair enough. Wait a minute. Yes? Yeah, is here. The professor. Yes, he is. The eye of the Sphinx that was stolen belonged to his collection. Really? Professor Lucien is an Egyptologist. <laughs> but of course. As director of the Egyptian department of the British Museum, he What? The whole burglary thing really upset him. 
He doesn't seem very upset. I'll take my leave of you now, Baroness, and I do hope your journey becomes more bearable. Ah, yes, indeed, Inspector. Constable. James? Huh, interesting. Let's go... Can we thank Maddie now for having us find the jerk face here? Maybe. Hey, Matt. The violinist really did steal the purse. Well observed. I knew it. I bet he's got more stuff planned. That Most gun he's got. Keep an eye on him secretly. Okay. Good man. Sounds like a plan. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. All right. Let's talk to our professor, who we just found out is director of Egypt stuff. Pretty sure that's the official title. I've got my business card. Director of Egypt stuff. London. Boom. How can I help you, Constable Zelda? Tell me why you're a lying jerk. Do I just call him straight out? Just call him straight out. That's why I'm really here. You're head of the Department of the British Museum. And you want to tell me that the burglary didn't matter to you? Mm -hmm. All right. The burglary was most upsetting. And shocking. And I didn't know what to do, okay? And you couldn't just tell me that. The fewer people who know about it, the better. Well, what? The burglary is on the front page of the paper. It is all. It. Come on now. Everybody knows about it. Whom you allegedly don't know. That's not quite true, is it? Well, what makes you think that? It seems like the two of you are running a haulage company specializing in safes. I won't comment on that. It's a matter of international importance. Tell me, Professor, would you happen to have a key in your briefcase? Uh, and if so, would it still happen to be there? Then all would be as it should. That's what we hope, at least. All the same, it would have been a simple matter for a thief to make an impression of it. Right, Professor? Oh. Wait, I missed something. So apparently I was not actually listening when somebody said that he is part of the safe something, 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 something with something guy. What? All right. I'm going to pretend you all caught that and I'm just slow. Let's talk about Cairo. You're going to Venice, are you? Could it be that your journey will continue? All the way to Egypt, perhaps? Obviously. Side, but the more you lie to me, the more difficult you make my job. Alright, let's look around now. I'd like to look around a bit. Of course. I'm not sure for what. Now, can I look at this? No, there's nothing to look at. Speak. Examine the window. So it's not a good plan to me. Assuming there really was someone in the compartment and he climbed out the window, where's he gone? I don't know. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. Let's get out of here. Let's go this way. See what's going on up. Oh. Uh, pardon me, sir. We could have used you a few minutes ago. Oh, let's go back and yell at him. Is that the steward? Come back here, steward. Thief. What's he doing? Come on. Something's afoot. The game is afoot, Watson. Walk faster. There you go. Let us talk to the butler. Where'd the steward go? Hey, butler. The butler, this James, seems to have escaped the Baroness. It's a great word for it. Saw it to him. Good day to you, sir. Can I be of any assistance, sir? I wanted to ask you a few questions. What can you tell me about the Baroness? Nothing, sir. A butler does not tattle. Fair enough. Where did you and Fair the enough. board the train? In Paris, sir. The Baroness was there on behalf of a charity that she supported for many years. So you weren't in London when they broke into the British Museum? 
we may have been, actually. We left for Dover bright and early the morning after the burglary. But it was in Paris when we first heard of it. The morning paper in London didn't mention the unfortunate event, sir. And just two days later, you're on a train bound for Switzerland. The Baroness certainly gets around. Charity events do that for you. Sir, we are practically always on the go. That. This is a weird thing to ask, but I'll... You pardon a rather odd question. Glad he Are makes note of it. ...named James. That would be a lucky coincidence in your line of work. My name, sir, is Clive Alfred Inch. Your second name is Alfred. Yet the Baroness calls you James. Madam considers James to be the only forename suited to a butler, sir. Baroness is crazy pants. Okay, that's... I mean, I kind of knew that from her, you know, odd choice. Queen of Hearts outfit, but still. Many would say it's a strange job. Are you insulting the man's profession? That I am one of a dying Play nice, Constable. The war claim. We might need his help, Butlers. Have you been to war as well? Indeed, sir. I was a groom for a cavalry officer. I don't think it means. British talk about What's a groom mean sure in this context? It seems the situation hasn't changed much since the Thirty Years' War, has it? Shrapnel from a bomb dropped by a Fokker would not have wounded me in the Thirty Years' War, sir. No, of course not. Goodbye, James. Or Alfred. Alright, we just, I need to look at our notes. We are making notes like madmen. I need to see them, because I think our um, good man here is making more deductions than I am. James the butler. Alright, doors locked from the outside, from the inside, who locked it? Oh, that's different. James the butler. That's all you got? Oh, here we go. Baroness and her butler have their own luxury compartment, blah, blah, blah. So, like, Martin Train, blah, stuff. Suffered an injury to the right arm. Seems like the arm isn't completely really lame, but he can't move it much. Okay, so he's got. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Right. What else we know? I need to look at this professor guy since he said something about the safe, and I missed that completely. Stolen. See, none of that mentions the safe piece. Right? Alright, let's, um. Lot compartment. Return of the Raven. I don't. Alright, whatever. I don't know how you deduce the safe thing. Let's go back this way and see what's happening, since nothing seems to be going on here. Maybe we can actually give that hairpin back to Miss Miller. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing, but we'll find out. Somehow we didn't bend it while using it as a lockpick, which makes no sense whatsoever, but okay. I have your hairpin, apparently. Hairpin, Mrs. Miller. It really got me out of a jam. I solved a crime. That's good to hear. Well, I guess I wasn't because of that, was it? Thank you for bringing it back to me. I found a button. Everybody would have. I'm it's a, a hairpin. Madam. I couldn't do otherwise, even if I tried. Goodbye, Mrs. Miller. I was about to say, why are you looking at Agatha? Goodbye, Constable. She seems very, very confused. All right, let's, um... I don't know. Let's go down some... Where, I guess? What am I supposed to be doing now? I don't think he can. Okay. So he's got nothing to say. Kids are gonna have to say. Maybe he does. Hey, the I knew it. I bet he's got more. I'll stay here. Oh, well, we did this already. And he's a thief, so I'm sure he's got nothing going on. Maybe he does though. Maybe it's a case of. I'll inform the authorities. Oh. Of Venice. They'll decide what to do with him. 
All right. Let's go back. I don't think the Baroness has any more information for me. And she's Fair not enough. the most pleasant conversationalist either. Fair enough. See Professor again? Professor Lucien. Door is open. All right, am I missing anything in here? How can I help you, Constable? I don't know. Honestly, we'll look around. I'd like to have a look around the compartment. Oh, uh, of course. Your teeth are orange. Not orange, like a yellow green color. Is there anything in here that I can take? So I discovered earlier, while trying to figure out what's going on with finding uh, Matt, that I've got 8,000 points. You can hold down space to see everything that's clickable in the room. Uh, which this room is nothing, apparently. And it costs you 10 points. So that's not bad at all. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. So we might use that more often to try to figure out what we're supposed to be doing next. Because a lot of games give you, like, hint systems. Like, the hints are expensive. You only get, like, a couple hints. Though most games also don't count holding space to see what's clickable as an event. But, hey, you know, or as a hint. But whatever. It's all good. Alright, so behind the bar, I don't really care. I'll do the doctor again, see so who's got to say to us. I'd better let him read his newspaper if I don't have any pressing questions. Okay. Anything out here? I need to find a ghost. There's just that. I guess I let them know that I found a way to get into Homeboy's room. It's probably a useful. Anything to report? I found a button. I got Professor Lucien into his compartment using a pair of pliers. Did you notice anything inside the compartment? The window was open. Someone could have climbed out. And the professor? Acted suspiciously. He rummaged around in his leather bag. And? He seemed to have found what he was searching for. Good. Good work. Now, perhaps you could give me some information. I found a button, too. All right. We should. What? The light's gone out. Flashlights. 